Good morning guys. Today we're southbound about 100 miles to a private water access uh, only place along the public Brazos River. Going with a friend. We're going to see how this works out. And uh, the water came up because we had some storms but it went back down. It's just very rapidly changing area along the Brazos near Granberry and and down there by Glen Rose. So hook it up, settle in, and let's see how it goes. Right, guys, this is beautiful. Nothing like a little private access to uh, kick off the spring on the Brazos River. Uh, we are near, in between Whitney and Granberry. I'm with my friend and uh, he who chooses to go unknown. So what we're doing is we're going towards holes, just trying to find some holes with the uh, sand bass and stripers in them. And it's going to be really hard for me to balance all these marbles today. So I'll go straight to the porn here in a minute. But isn't this beautiful? I mean, look, look at this. Am I lucky or am I lucky? That's been pretty good for some lately. Well, there's a mystery guy in the trees that talked to us back there. We didn't see him, but we heard him. He talked to, to Clint. <laughs> and he said, he said, that's the hole right there. He said, there's... Well, he asked the... me how... He's like, where did y'all launch? Oh, yeah. He's trying to figure out how we got here. He was on that side? Yeah. Yeah. He was, I did see him through the trees. I, I heard a little bit, and then I was looking through there. I saw some legs, and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> I wonder where the hell he came from, because it's not easy to get down this block. Maybe it's there. There's a couple of houses though, like. Yeah, but they're way up there. I've climbed up that bluff before. It's not trivial. Really? Oh yeah, it's very rocky. <laughs> trivial, I like that. <laughs> yeah, Just so you know, it's not trivial. It's yeah. pretty hardcore. But uh, all right. Well, I was coming down here because I. That's where the fun begins, huh? The boys, I think, left some rods down here. Oh. Like, oh no. Yeah, and they broke one yesterday. Oh. You know, when you got about ten boys together. There. There's gonna be breakage. There's gonna be. There's gonna be breakage. I heard a saying. This has been a long time ago. It's like two boys are okay, but once you put three boys together, men, you've got children. Like <laughs> <laughs> and my kids are like down the line, like lieutenants. But I put them with other kids, and they just wheels come off. Uh huh. All right. Well, enjoy it. Thank you, Mike. Yep. See ya. <laughs> Look at this guy. I dropped it. I saw a green. I thought, well, maybe that's the side of a rock, you know. And uh, he came up and slammed on it. That your friend was right. It's top water. Well, I saw him too, though. Pretty cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, absolutely. He's he's been hit hard. He got a headache. Something. Yeah. So, I think it looked like talon grab on his head. Mm -hmm. right Something tried to eat him. Yep. He was just hanging right there, and I was like, nah, that's the side of a rock. So I was just like, I'm going to hit it. <laughs> it just came right up. Boop. Guys, so I've caught one bass, and he who shall remain nameless has caught one bass. And uh, the water's fairly low, but so we're moving a lot, and we're going against the wind downriver, so it's kind of tough. But uh, we might find a place to stop. We haven't seen any real deep holes. I'm sure there are here. I've just never been here. So, it's fun, it's a kayak, and it's a lot of work. <laughs> hey guys, we did about 3.6 miles, and uh, so he caught a bass, and I caught a bass, but we're not finding any stripers over here on the Brazos, and we're not finding um, any sand bass today. So that's the way it goes sometimes. It's just a beautiful trip though, um, if you can get to it, you can see just how cool it is actually. We're on a gravel 
turn of the Brazos River here. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, whatever you can. Talk to you later. Bye.